Scotty doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my van every Sunday. She tells him she's in church, but she doesn't go. Still, she's on her knees, and Scotty doesn't know. Oh, Scotty doesn't know. Be more natural than seeing a pen lying around on a school campus or somewhere nearby, and then you pick it up, and in two cases recently, the pens have detonated. Students this afternoon at Rosemead High worry and worried about exploding pens found on campus, similar to these collected in a sweep early today and waiting to be turned over to sheriff's deputies to be x-rayed. You never know. Soon it could be a paper. You never know. It could be anything. And it's just scary that to see anything if you pick it up off the floor. In two separate incidents, pens like this one found on or near the school property exploded as people removed the caps. It seems very hurtful that someone would want to do this. Of course, we have no idea of knowing if it's a student or an outside person who is doing this, who has um, set us up for this. And School officials moved quickly to notify students and parents at Rosemead High, plus those in the elementary school district. L.A. County Sheriff's Meanwhile says even if this started off as a joke, it's no longer innocent fun. Uh, it's beyond a prank. Uh, we've got people that have sustained some injuries behind uh, some of these pens, so uh, no, we're taking it very seriously. Students are heeding the warning not to pick up pens found on the ground and to report suspicious activity, but parents are still concerned. Kids are always looking for pens on the floor just to write, especially if they're run to class. Picking it up and then if they take it to the classroom and open it there, that's really scary. Now, what we've noticed this afternoon are stepped-up law enforcement patrols. The sheriff's department is out here, and school officials are keeping a very sharp eye out, and they're saying this is not going to be treated as mischief, is going to be treated as a crime. Reporting live right now from Rosemead, I'm David Cruz. Paul and Colleen, back to you. All right, David. Chuck Henry is in the news right now with a look at what's new on the Channel 4 News at 6. booby trapped with explosives and then left for anyone to find <laughs> they're off to class again at Rosemead High School apparently without a word until someone thinks about picking up a lost pen from the floor principal Diane Bladen tells me what a campus construction worker encountered when he found one late last month he found a pen next to this, the vending machine, picked it up, took it back to his truck with him, and when he got in the truck, he took the lid off, and uh, the pen exploded in his hands. The worker suffered injuries to his hands, powder burns from what L.A. County arson investigators call a booby-trapped pen. And a second incident with the same outcome happened over the weekend near the school at the corner of Roseby Boulevard and Mission Drive. There was a lady walking down Rosemead Boulevard adjacent to our student parking lot. She saw a pen, picked it up, um, took the lid off, and the pen exploded. She suffered injuries to her hands and face. School district officials have notified students, staff, and parents, warning against picking up lost pens and pencils or any strange-looking object. What have you told her? What are you being oh, told? Um, don't touch any pens you find on the floor because it might kill you. It might blow up. Is someone playing a cruel joke, or is there something more than that? The FBI is monitoring the situation, but says this is a local case so far. In Rosemead, Walter Richards, KTLA News.